right, well, good morning, or in your case, good evening. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing today? Yeah, good, good, good. Awesome, awesome. So, um, I just want to introduce you on behalf of our show, MMA Made. We appreciate you taking the time to uh, talk with us. Yep. Okay. And uh, we hear that you have a new fight coming up. Yeah, I do. I have, uh, it's been announced last week, so I'm 11 weeks out uh, to the fight. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. You know, the, the guy I'm fighting is a tough opponent from South Africa. It's his first fight in the UFC, but uh, you know he's um, he's a champion in uh, South Africa in their in their uh, MMA over there. So um, it would be good. You know, looking forward to the fight, uh, and I can't wait. Awesome, awesome. And that's going to be taking place at uh, UFC Fight Night 40, correct? Yeah, in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Nice, yeah. nice. So how is it making the transition coming from, because you fight and train out of Australia, correct? Yeah, I do. Um, out of uh, at Perth. I normally, depending on, on who I'm fighting, I, I kind of um, make, uh, um, just make adjustments to my camp, um, whether I've got to fly, fly somewhere to, to uh, get better sparring or, or, or better camp, or just depends, so. Okay, awesome. So you're on a 10 fight win streak. I mean, that's phenomenal for any combat sport. 20 and three. Um, you haven't lost in almost three and a half years. Um, what kind of pressure is that to, to keep a, a fight streak like that? Uh, I think I, I just keep to, this, to, to the normal. I think that my last loss, when I, when I fought Daniel Cormier, it was my last loss. and. Uh, Sitting in the changing room, I think to myself, "Damn, I'm never losing again." It's just a, it's just one of the things, you, just, you know. So I just make sure that um, I have all bases covered on on who I fight, um, and uh, so um, you know, it, uh, you know, I kind of, you know, I have my coaches, got some good coaches, that uh, um, Paul, Glenn, and uh, and Tony, and you know, they kind of study the, my opponent and, and, and they work out his you know, weaknesses and his strengths and, and then we um, they bring it to the drawing board and we, you know and we work out some strategies and stuff like that so no it's good I've got to, you know they'll, they'll kind of plan the whole camp and everything around it so it's good nice I'd like to point out to the fans that don't know that loss to Daniel Cormier that was an unfortunate loss because it was a stoppage due to a cut and uh, it looks like you could have continued that fight if they would have let you. How do you how do you feel about that stoppage? Oh, uh, you know, it's one of those things, and, and it wasn't intentional. And from Daniel Cormier, it's just one of the things that happened in a fight where you get, uh, you know, got uh, kind of, it was it wasn't a kind of uh, I cut an eyelid. My eyelid was cut. I think his his thumb kind of went in my eye. But you know, it's one of those things. You know, in, you know, you're fighting a guy that uh, you know is a captain of the USA in the big team is, you know, you don't, you don't get that kind of staying at any bus stop, you know, so um, he's a high level opponent, look at him now, he's, uh, he's uh, you know, I think he's going to tear up the, the, the lightweight division, so, uh, but, you know, well, you know, all good to, to Daniel and, and hope for the best, and, you know, I've, you know, I was, you know but uh, I've learned from that and, and here we are today, so. Yeah, definitely, yeah, I was, very impressive win on his behalf this past weekend and yeah so that's that's he's no slouch by any means and I would have loved to see that fight continue I mean it was you know I thought it was a good matchup for you but uh maybe down the road who knows who moves back to heavyweight maybe you get a rematch <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed um there's a lot of criticism after UFC 164 when you fought uh Nikita Krylov and then after that fight you come back and you fight a very dangerous striker, Pat Berry, and you put him away, you know, pretty in a very great fashionable finish. Do you feel that um, that some of that criticism that came from UFC 64, you came back and you did that? Um, you wanted to prove a point like, hey, you're legit. You want to show the world you're here to be, you know, to, to be in the UFC at the heavyweight division. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, um, a week before the, the UFC 164 against... Uh, Nikita Karolov, I, I fractured my rib, and uh. um, yeah, I, it was, uh, you know, it was unfortunate, but, um, I, and that was just purely from just, you know, just drilling from wrestling, nothing hard, just drilling, and, 
and I was like a kind of a turn and, and, and yeah and I fractured my rib but then when I got to Milwaukee I tried to get a cortisone injection um, but uh, the doctor um, he's a doctor for the Milwaukee Bucks he wouldn't give me a cortisone injection so he gave me some pills to take um, to kind of numb the pain but uh, that didn't work and then when I fought I, um, um, I, I just couldn't sit up and um, you know, and then when in the first round, when I took Nikita down, I felt a pop in my rib and uh, I couldn't breathe. And um, yeah, I went downhill from then. So I just, you know, when you when you hurt your rib, you just can't take big breaths. So I was taking little short breaths and yeah. um, you know, dying died for, for air. But um, you know, I come away with the win. And and uh, and the thing is, yeah, they said, oh, you know, why didn't you? Uh, I had so much people that paid money to come over there and had fans and stuff so I didn't want to pull out of the fight I just wanted to thought you know just go in there and just you know stick it out and, <laughs> but it is what it is and, and I got I mean I did get the win but I wasn't happy with it but uh, I, I knew I'm better than that so and then um, I fought you know Pat Barry and yeah that was you know a different story so yeah you looked phenomenal versus Pat Barry who's a very dangerous striker um, so how often I mean combat sport you know you're training you do a variety of different things to train how often is it that you actually are a hundred percent going in to a fight night that's the uh you know the niggly injuries and, and stuff like that and and it, like um when mark hunt fought uh bigfoot i mean two weeks before that fight he had a bit of a back back problem so i mean that's just unfortunate. This is the sport we're, that we're in, that we push, push hard, especially going into the last couple of weeks of the fight. Um, you know, the, the main thing is with, with us, we just got to be healthy and, and just you know, train smart. I'm, I'm getting on 36 now, so you know, I've, I've just got to. It's not like the days when I used to roll around in, in Hawaii and go to see BJ Japan, train all the time, and go to Brazil and train all the time, go to Japan and train flat out all the time, all day, every day. Now I've just got to be a bit more smarter on how I train and stuff and look after the body more, so. Yeah, definitely. Um, how was it to be a part of UFC Fight Night 33, being at the, having kind of like the hometown advantage and being on that same fight car, which was arguably one of the best fights last year with Hunt and Silva? Yeah, it was awesome, you know, um, to, you know to walk out and you have you, you know, your crowd the Australian crowd kind of screaming at you and uh, and I had a lot of people from Perth that come over, you know, that, uh, that support, you know, come with support, the whole Australia supporting you, so it's, it's awesome, awesome feeling. And, I mean, um, you know, they to be fighting on there with other Australian Australian guys, but uh, unfortunately things didn't go too well for them, but, you know, and kind of put the pressure on me, I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> So yeah, but um, I was happy to get my win. You know, I just went out there, did my my thing. I, a lot of things, you know, a lot of people kind of underestimated me and said that you know, that, you know, Pat's gonna pull me away. And, and that, but um, Pat's a you know, I'd, I'd, Pat's an awesome fighter. He's uh, he stand up is he's uh, he, you know, he's, he's deadly. So I did, I just I stuck to my game plan and um, and made sure you know I had, you know, come away with a win. But uh, so and and I did, you know, like. Um, my gameplay worked, and uh, you know, and that's awesome. Keep moving down on you for the next one. So uh, I know you don't want to ever look past an opponent, but um, say you get this this win on this next fight, where do you think that puts you in the mix for you know the the top heavyweights amongst the UFC right now? I I think that um, well the heavyweights is a bit thin at the moment, so um, you know there's a lot of guys that are injured and. And um, so, you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. I, I, you know, whoever Joe Silver and, and Dana White give me, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, to step up and, you know, whether it's a top 10 or, or whatever, you know, kind of, you know, I think I, you know, deserve to be to be in the heavyweight division, so I deserve to be in the UFC. So um, I'll just keep keep stepping and, and uh, keep proving myself and, uh, you know, and, and the sky's the limit. So, you know, I'll be one day, Know, maybe in a year or, or whatever, or two, you know, maybe you know, fight for that strap. But for for now, I just want to kind of keep busy and uh, and keep motivated and and uh, and not stop training. So awesome, yeah. I think it'd be hard to argue not to put you 
in the top 10 mix if you you know get a win and it is in a you know, especially if you get a win in a you know a very uh, you know dominating fashion whether it's a knockout or a you know TKO uh, I mean of your 10 fight win streak right now they're all finishes eight of them are in the first round it would be hard not to put you in the top 10 yeah well yeah, everyone wants to see a finish, so especially in the heavyweight division. So, um, you know, and and I kind of like my my fights. I just it just happens like that. You know, that's just the way I fight um, to finish, you know, to finish the opponents. But it's better like me finishing them than them finishing me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, uh, but um, you know, it, it's a sport, and you know, it's uh, you know, I respect my opponents and, and whoever steps in there, and you know, you know, they're in there for a reason as well. So. Um, so they're in there to, to, to get me and I'm in there to, to, to fight them. So we, we, uh, at the end of it, we shake hands and, uh, and we have a laugh, but, um, but it's business. So, you know, this is what we do. We put food on the table. So. Yeah. Well, without calling anybody out, who, who would you like to fight? Who do you think would be a good matchup for you um, for the fans and for maybe someone for challenging yourself? Um, I'd, I'd like, you know, I don't know. It's 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 a hard thing because you know it's you know I'm not like that to, to just sit here and just you know call anyone out. You know it's you know it's I just want to kind of keep busy and keep active. So I mean whoever Joe gives me and then and, and puts on the table to me, I'm you know I'll take the fight. I can respect it's, that. Yeah, it, it's 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 just you know you can't really say yes or no, I won't take the fight on that because you just can't, it's, you're at the top of the division, you're at the top of this league where the UFC is the pinnacle of the whole MMA. So you, you cannot, you know, pull fights or you, you, know, you can't pick and choose who you want to fight. They give you the fight, you, you've got to fight. So, Virus database has been updated. So, yeah. I, I could, you know what, you are a humble man and you're everything I expected to talk to this morning and I have to say that, um, I obviously I follow you on Twitter and everything you post is so inspirational and motivational. You're a very positive person, so I, I want to I want to say thank you for that. And anyone else, you know that that follows you, I'm sure they would agree with me. Well, the, I mean the thing is, it's like it, it's just good energy. Like you've got to give good energy out. Yeah? I, I believe I truly believe that. Um, you know, to give good energy out and just to help people. I'm the ambassador for, for Make-A-Wish Foundation. I'm the ambassador for, I think, maybe a course, Telephone, and, and that's just for to, just to raise money for seriously ill children. So, and, you know, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, a big part of, you know, that to, to help raise money for, you know, to, to, for, for kids that, you know, to make, make their dreams come true, you know, that uh, they have cancer and stuff, and walking into these hospitals and seeing these kids, you know, that, like, they're smiling and they've only got like they're smiling and laughing. They've got six months to live while you've got like you know years and years and years to live. So you know your life can't be that bad. You know so um, I, I feel, I'm blessed and especially you know, kind of this whole three years kind of working my way back to the UFC and being in the UFC. I think I'm blessed and and you know and I, you know, I, I've, I've got a lot more to give and if I can help people that whether they're an MMA, MMA fighter or just a normal person that's just sitting on the couch they want to get up get off their ass and, and hit the gym and, and, and be positive and trying to change their life you know I, I can help them you know I'm here to help you know and kind of get that uh, you know it's kind of talking to them as well and himself because you get a lot of MMA fighters and they've made it and stuff and they don't take, talk to their fans you want to talk to their fans you know you can't that's the other fans are that they're the ones that are buying pay money to, to, to watch you and stuff like that so you know you have to talk you have to give back to them you know so but um and you know people like you that kind of interview us that you know putting uh, you know getting our names out there you know i appreciate that because it's no problem it's, um, yeah so well, we always we appreciate the opportunity you know i know that we're newer up and coming but we plan to be around for a while yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd uh, like to add? No, I'm just, you know, we're just getting ready. I mean, after the, the, the fight, the December fight, I went into, we started filming a movie um, called uh, The Zombie Ninjas versus TRG. And um, I played a lead role in that, my first lead role. So, and, you know, that was, we finished filming that. And then I was waiting for, to get my, this fight locked in. And, 
and uh, after this probably get, you know do another movie and then straight into another fight so I just want to kind of keep busy and keep active and you know I don't want to really want to be sitting around watching kind of TV and, and stuff I want to you know get out there and keep venturing out and keep you know training and keep positive and keep uh, keep doing things so I just keep myself busy so but uh, but yeah looking forward for this fight and, and uh, Ryan Potts is a you know, he's a, he's a tough opponent. You know, he's got some nice, he's got some good ground, you know, ground, nice and tight. He's got some some, some stand up. So um, it's going to be an interesting fight. It's going to be um, it's a fight that I'm looking forward to. Good for him and, and good for me. So, and especially his first fight in the UFC, he's going to be coming into impress and that as well. So um, he's going to bring it as well. So I'm going to be prepared for that. And that's UFC Fight Night 40 in Cincinnati. And what's the date on that? The date's at uh, May the 10th. Oh, May the 10th. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So, um, stay tuned. <laughs> do you know? Do you know if you're going to be on the uh, main card or? Um, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not sure. Okay. Actually, but um, I haven't haven't had any uh, much yet. But um, but you know, he's a heavyweight fight, and, and you know, he's a finisher. So, and I'm a finisher. So, they might have it on the main card. You know, so but I'm not sure. That'd be awesome. One one step at a time, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to keep you too long. I know it's probably what about eleven thirty out there right now. Yeah, that, yeah, that means eleven thirty. <laughs> no rest for the wicked, though, right? Yeah, I've got to be up early anyway, so um, get the training on the way. So there you go. Well, you know what? You always keep me motivated. We really appreciate your time. I wish you the best at UFC Fight Night Forty coming up in Cincinnati, and um, I look forward to talking to you in the future. Cool, I just want to quick thanks to, to my sponsors, um, Adidas um, for sponsoring me, Mac Boots, I've got my own Mac Boots out, uh, my own boots out there, uh, MacBoots.com, um, uh, Innovative Hair Solution, um, R9WA, um, uh, Dodge, um, Dodge for, for giving me a car, and um, my Urban Swagger, um, my strength and condition guys at uh, Southern CrossFit, um, big thanks to them. So, but uh, yeah, um, but uh, yeah, thank you for, for having me and you know for interviewing me. I much appreciate it. Thank you so. We appreciate it. Cool. We'll talk to you later. Alright. Thanks, man. Bye bye. Bye. So, uh, the Hulk Palali here on MMA Made exclusive. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.